One other thing I wanted to ask you about, just to, to get uh, a little bit more information for people, is, is how applicant tracking systems work. Because I know every large company uses them, a lot of recruitment firms use them now as well. And I think for for job seekers in Canada, you know, they, they apply into the system and then it's kind of the, the black hole of, <laughs> of recruitment. They're not always sure what's happening. So it, can you give us any sense of just how uh, organizations use ATS to, to kind of manage that process? Typically when you apply for a job, it is going into an ATS system. And often big companies will have their own sourcing team. So they will be sourcing externally, but a lot of times they do look internally at the candidate pool within the applicant tracking system or the ATS. So one of the things that the sourcing team or even the recruiters are going to do is do a search for keywords. It might be certain coding languages. It might be certain companies you've worked for in the past. So you want to make sure that your resume is very exact and specific about your specific skill set because that's what will be searched for within the tool. Yeah, and I, I, it's interesting because I think initially when candidates apply through an ATS, sometimes it can be a little bit more time consuming than just sending off your resume. You know, you've got to upload the resume and you've got to kind of fill in other bits of information as well. But I, I think the advantage is once you're in that system, even if you don't get the job you've applied for, it's possible you might get a call, you know, a month later about another position, as long as you've put the right kind of information in there and that the, the recruits can find you. Yeah, absolutely. The other really cool thing that ATS systems have now is an alert system. So you can say, hey, alert me when a job becomes available in New York City, in HR, or using these specific keywords, and you'll get automatic emails. Uh, if some of those openings become available. It's great to follow companies and specific recruiters on LinkedIn. A lot of times they will post their job openings on LinkedIn. Some companies are even tweeting. If you're on campus, if you're a student, most likely some of the big companies have their own on-campus social media handles that they're using to let you know when applications are open, when deadlines are looming, when they're coming to campus. So it's always great to follow them wherever you can.